Hello and welcome to Coffee and Bonsai with Tom. Today, we're going to work on some structural pruning of my triple trunk variegated jade. Um, this is actually part two of a video. Um, you can watch part one if you want. It's uh, a lot of background information of the tree and I talk about you know, where I acquired this rough material and whatnot. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, to be honest with you, uh, in my in my age, I forgot to publish the first one, so I'm publishing both of these at the same time. So please enjoy them both. So the tree is quite healthy, and uh, what I want to do today is structural pruning and a little bit of a tune-up here and there. Um, you can see if I kind of hold my hands up, I sort of want to round it off and kind of, uh, you know, just give the tree some feedback as to what it's doing well and what we want it to continue doing and provide some pruning to... Um, let it know what we're not so happy with uh, and just get it set for the next stage of growth. So let's give it a spin. Uh, you can see it's, a, it's not a bad looking tree. Uh, it has a bunch of stumps on it. Um, if you watch the first video, I think I mentioned there, I when I got this rough material, it was in bad shape and I basically just cut the bottom off, massively reduced the roots and then cut off a lot of limbs um, and you know, and those Hail Mary cuts, you're never sure exactly what you're going to get. So you end up with a lot of stumps. Uh, uh, luckily, I did get a lot of growth uh, where I wanted it here, but there's some areas where I didn't. And we will also address that here today. So let me grab my wire cutters uh, out of my bag here and we'll get rid of this. Uh, you can see where I had the tree tied in with this ugly plastic wire. And, uh, you know, it's grown enough. I'm quite sure it's 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 firmly in the pot so we'll just snip this off and uh yeah don't need that anymore sometimes these are a little tough to get off yeah there we go so this tree has a really nice trunk i really like it, it, it i mean it really has a sense of age to it um you know it has a few structural problems here and there that we want to fix i think you can see this horizontal uh, log bar branch going across the back. Uh, that's something I want to take care of uh, today. And, you know, we'll t look at some of these other stumps and see if we can clean up as well. I'm not going to do major pruning on it because I still want it to grow some um, and fill out. Although it looks quite healthy, I want to get it outside. We'll just zoom in here and give you a look at the, the trunk. But, it, man, I mean, what a beautiful trunk. Like, I'm really... I think this tree um, really has a tremendous amount of potential. I'm super, super excited about it, uh, for sure. Yeah, it's got a nice base on it there. I um, mean, you can see, but based on the size of my hand, it's nice. And uh, here I get a look at this horizontal branch we're going to deal with. Um, you know, it's got some foliage on it, but there's a lot of growth. So um, I think we'll be fine. And as we as we kind of go around, you can see some other stumps uh, as well that we will take a look at. So just readjust the camera here and have a look, see where I wanna, wanna start. I think I also wanna reduce the, the height of this a bit and thin out um, some branches just to tighten it up a bit and let the, let the sun in. Um, the top I'm still a little confused about. I definitely don't like this long straight stretch in this ball up there. Um, so I think I want to deal with that, and I'm not sure exactly which one of these would be the apex. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't like this, so I'm just going to cut it off, and we'll probably take more of that off um, as I go on. And um, you know, I'm tempted to uh, to rethink the apex, but I want to let it grow more, uh, and we'll we'll get some other options there. There's a stump I can sort of take this off. You know, one of the nice things about these uh, pusher lacari is they're pretty soft, so you can use your regular cutters, although this is not a good example to take some pretty big stuff off. Um, let me see. That still looks pretty messy, so I'm just going to try to um, cut it flush with this. I found, like, you really want to go right smooth with these, and, you know, you get nice uh, nice healing and, you know, the, this sort of skins over and it's like like it never happened but I'm having a bit of trouble sawing this off with uh, my scissors here that uh, could be a cutting who knows um, 
Yeah. Really want to get this flat. You know, right tool, right job. So let me uh let me go back into the bag and yeah, yeah, get this. These uh these cutters can give you a nice flat cut. And uh, you know, you just kinda hold them uh I guess is that parallel? Yeah, parallel to the branch and takes it right off, nice and smooth. And uh, you know, much less chance of making a mistake or cutting yourself. Look at that. Like it was never there. You know, I'm thinking about next steps here, and I'm thinking, you know, while we got these cutters out, uh, why don't we swing around and uh, take care of some of these uh, stumps that we don't want. In uh, fact, uh, how about this one? Yeah, this is the perfect tool to um, to take care of this. I mean, that's a that is a thick branch, and of course you could cut it off. But like I said, these are soft enough that um, this just I find works really, really well. And uh, you know, just go slow and steady, support the branch, and off it goes. Now that will make a nice cutting. I'm quite sure. I'm gonna, I've never done water propagation with this uh, these variegated, so I'm definitely going to try that. So yeah, then you just come in and clean it up. Just take your time, get it nice and smooth. Once again, like it was never there. Yeah, that really cleans it up. I mean, I, I, I you know, you can really see the trunk line now. And uh, let's look around here for our next victim. Um, I'm not sure how much more of these you know, the cutters we need to use. I mean, I definitely see some, you know, like here, I want to take care of that eventually, but um, I'm not sure I want to do that now. It doesn't seem like a, you know, it's not overly unsightly to me. I think we can kind of let that go, although I will thin this out, kind of neaten it up and give it more of a, a round, uh, puffy cloud profile. Looking at the top here, I just kind of covering it up, and I, you know, I think that's a, that's a lot better, actually. Um, I really don't like this, uh, you know, this this thing. So I'm I'm just gonna take it off. Yeah, that's that's just way better. Um, you know, there's some more options. I can maybe clean this up. There's kind of a weird branch that, um, kind of goes back and in. Uh, I don't know. Let me distract myself with some other, with some other uh, leaf pruning, and uh, maybe I'll do that too. So just some thinning. Um, this is that little branch I was talking about there. That um, it's just kind of a weird little branch. I mean, it doesn't look necessarily bad from the front here. Um, but I'd almost, well, I'm thinking about maybe I'll just take it off and then hope for, you know, I'm sure um, I get this outside, there'll be a lot of growth over in that area, and so I don't really think I need it. But let me uh, take out some of this other stuff I think I don't need. That was an inward growing branch, which would have just gotten worse and worse. really want everything to flow from the from the middle of the tree out. And um, let's see, we have another stump over here. It's kind of hiding under there. Um, let me see. Yeah, uh, well, I was, well, I'm figuring out what to do here next. Uh, you know, I really like working on trees like this because, um, you know, it just gives you a lot of options. You know, like as I spin this tree around, um, you know, there are many different angles I could use as the front, which is which is kind of a that's a great asset to have in a in a tree, and you don't often see that. Um, so, you know, so I really different. I, I appreciate that, and I want to. You know, that's one of the reasons why I want to keep uh, just growing this out a bit because I think um, as it fills out even more, like, you get even more options. But I do want to thin out stuff that is just. Uh, 
you know, I don't, I don't want to let something grow that I'm going to regret, you know, six months from now saying, boy, I wish I would have taken that out. Like, like this little bit here that I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about. I think I'm just, this, this, this is this weird piece that kind of goes out the back, which, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let me see. I'm also thinking about this, you know, I sort of, I kind of like the branch on the left more, but I don't necessarily want to take all this off right now because it'll sort of leave a hole there. But that's definitely the kind of thing that um, I'll let it go a bit. And, uh, you know, new growth will help make that decision uh, as to which one of those um, I should chooses the leader. I kind of like the one on the left. I, I'm just going to take this off. I uh, I keep thinking about it and I just don't like it. So yeah, all the way. Yeah, I think that's a lot better and also helps me think about which one of those is my new leader. Sometimes you just have to play with things a bit and uh, the answer will present itself. Uh, thin this out too. So I'm just continuing to do a few you know, nips and tucks here. This is always the part of pruning that I really like because you're kind of getting into the more, you know, detailed stuff and uh, just creating an overall shape for the tree. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, I thought there was, oh yeah, there's a, and we'll get to it uh, as I'll just thin this out. There's a stump that I sort of want to cut back a bit um, over on this side. Um, it's kind of those things like, you know, I, I wish I had gotten some growth on it, uh, but I didn't. Um, but I haven't given up on it yet. Uh, sometimes if you mar these, they'll grow, or if you just recut it, it'll energize it. So I'm just going to give it a nip, and hopefully um, the tree decides to put a shoot out there. Because I think, I think I would like to have one there. Well, I'm getting to the fine tuning portion of this, which I love so much, just kind of spinning the tree around and really, you know, doing those last details uh, that really make a big difference. And while I'm doing that, I, I kind of want to mention something around, um, you know, when you buy nursery stock or, or you know, something you intend on turning into a bonsai. And in my feeling, you're sort of, you're buying time, especially if you're getting something that's not a cutting that you intend to grow for years. And and you know you're buying growth, right? Um, and I think even more specifically, you're re you're really buying a trunk, um, because uh, I mean you can see from this like most all these branches are new, and came off of stubs. And even if I bought something and cut it down to just a single trunk, you know it would uh, it would produce branches. So um, so keep that in mind. You know, like uh, I I when I buy raw material, I'm not so much looking at the top of the tree because you're probably going to get rid of that anyhow as you are you know the trunk um because that's really um what takes uh tremendous amounts of time to develop i think this is looking pretty good i mean uh you know i think we've done a lot of great work here uh, especially chopping out uh, a lot of those stumps and getting rid of that middle branch um you know there's more to do but i think we're well on our way in this tree is certainly ready for its uh, summer growth. Yeah, I feel quite lucky to have sort of stumbled upon this material. And I have a bunch of these, actually. I saw, if you look in part one of the video, you can see a picture of the the trunks that I started with. And uh, I will be doing videos on, on, on all of them over time. Um, this is just the first. But um, yeah, I really think um, this is some fantastic material to work with and um, really looking forward to its, its development uh, in the future. So that is about a wrap for today. And I want to leave you with a, a parting thought around patience, uh, specifically, you know, having patience with your trees, uh, because more often than not, a lack of patience uh, results in death of the tree. I mean, I've seen so many folks, you know, work on the top, work on the roots, wire the heck out of it, shove it into a really tiny pot. And, um, you know, 
dwarf jades can take a tremendous amount of punishment, uh, and I mean they're very hard to kill. And as long as you give them a reasonable aftercare, they'll they'll survive. But it may take a long time. So you know, and as I said, the recovery the recovery time extends when you take away all the tools that the tree has to do that. And so that's why, you know, I like to you know get them in a pot, do some pruning, get it healthy, and then um, start doing some more major work on it. Um, because it's just easier and, uh, you know, I kind of enjoy the process. And that's what this is all about anyhow, is, you know, enjoying yourself, enjoying your trees, and enjoying uh, keeping yourself company while you work on your trees. Uh, well, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for spending time with me, and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.